HLS Show Me How, provisioning a custom learning site in SharePoint Online. Hi, my name is Michael Giannotti, and I'm an HLS Healthcare and Life Sciences Technology Specialist for the Microsoft Corporation. So as I meet with customers, one of the themes that keeps coming up over and over again is preparedness and training, and rightfully so. You know, as customers are looking to roll out new systems, they're rolling out Teams, they're rolling out new applications that surface in Teams. They've been rolling out SharePoint Online, Exchange Online, things like Planner, uh, Forms, and others. There is a desire to want to be able to train their users. And so one of the things that uh, Microsoft has provided, it's in open, it's kind of open sourced out there that you can take advantage of it. Um, but it's using built-in uh SharePoint Online functionality to deliver is custom learning for Office 365. So you'll see if you go to this particular URL, docs.microsoft.com slash Office 365 slash custom learning, it'll bring you to this page and it kind of tells you about it, um, a little bit about the solution itself, how you know it can keep, we have up to date content. I'll be showing you how we do that how you can add custom learning components and do some other things. And the setup of this is really fairly straightforward. There's two basic ways you can do it. Number one, you can uh, choose a setup option as to how you're going to do it, where there is a ready-made uh, utility online that'll go ahead and provision it to your tenant, or you can actually manually do that. But we're gonna go ahead, let's select here, provision custom learning. And here again, it's gonna tell about some of the prerequisites. One of them is this, you need to make sure you've set up a tenant app catalog, right? If you don't know how to do so, they walk you through it right here. Um, we already have that within our given tenant that we're gonna do. And then the next thing is to go to the provision custom learning. So let's go ahead, select that. It's gonna take us to this page. And if you scroll down, you'll see some interesting samples that are available, right? Maybe you're looking for other sites as well to give you a jump start as to things you can do in SharePoint. Things like, I don't know, a leadership site, right? Where you might want to do that. Um, working at your organization. And again, you can set that up, play with it, replace content. But it gives you a great sample as to how to set that up. A team site, workshop sites a giving site for philanthropy within your organization. But up if we go to the top, next to samples, there are solutions. And there are two primary ones, a SharePoint starter kit, which gives you a whole bunch of web parts, extensions and components that you can use uh, to create and kind of play around with SharePoint and get a feel for the modern sites. And then this one, custom learning. This is what we want. So we're gonna select that. Once we've done so, you'll notice it has here again, some information and overview as to what it's gonna look like, what it provides you, a custom flexible uh, content solution. So it'll allow you not only to take the content that is provided, but also to create your own and add your own custom content. You'll be able to create your own playlists. And of course, keep up to date with content. And they have documentation that'll take you to a much more in-depth view. But the real magic happens here. Add to your tenant. So it says permissions required, tenant admin. I'm logged in as the tenant admin already for our site over here, right? Within this particular tenant. So we're gonna click add to tenant. And it's important that we're logged in already, right? Once we do so, it's gonna ask, it's gonna, it says SharePoint, uh, this app is gonna like wanna do the following. So we need to check, yes, I consent. Once we do so, we can accept. Again, it's all fairly straightforward and it says working, working, working. Dun, 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 So there we go. And we're on our last piece. Now it says provisioning, scroll down. We're not done yet. You, you'll be waiting there a long time if you don't. Once you scroll down, um, it gives you some information. First of all, it does say, say that for this particular usage of this solution, there is 
uh, data that gets grabbed by Microsoft to kind of take a look at how you're using this uh, site. If you don't want to do that, they have a script to opt out, allows you to go ahead and not have that happen so that you don't have any kind of usage tracking going on. And certainly, you know, for compliance, there's a lot of orgs that would like that. Uh, however, you know, we use that data tracking. Uh, it's not around uh, users per se, but on what you're doing with the site. And uh, if you want to learn more, you can see uh, more information here. But this is the important piece for us right now. It hasn't begun provisioning. It set it all up. So first of all, notification email. I am logged in as that tenant admin. It took my login information here. And then next, it says the custom learning URL. By default, after sites, it's going to say 0365CL for custom learning. You can name that whatever you want. We're going to take the default here, though. Click provision then ask you to kind of, you know, one last time, go ahead and confirm. And that's it. Now it says the provisioning of your template has started. Um, and based on that input, and we're going to get an email around that. So if I come in here, let's go back here. And we'll open up in a new tab, our Outlook Online. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're waiting. So we're going to get an email once we're confirmed that in fact that it's it's finished. When it's finished, then we'll be able to go in and we'll be able to walk you through what it looks like. We'll take a look. In the meantime, I'm going to pause this recording and then we'll come back shortly. All right. So you can see here that uh, it's, we've gotten our email notification. It says your, cust, your request to provision is now complete. Go ahead. Gives a link to it below. So we're going to just go ahead and click on that. It'll bring us straight to our site. And here it is. Now let's walk through. I want to walk through a couple of the options here. Now, of course, I am logged in as a tenant admin. So I have access to a number of different things that we'll take a look at. For example, the learning administration. And we're going to look at some of the training and other pieces that get pre-populated. But I want to do a quick walkthrough. You can see we have here, start with six quick, uh, simple steps. We've got getting started with Teams. Training, if I select that, you know, one of these tiles, for example, uh, Office 365 training, we're going to see it's loading up uh, custom learning. It's the first time it's happening, so we're going to get a bit of a spin. Um, but while that's coming up, there we go, getting started and it has different products that are enabled. I'll show you where we can troll all of this. We can promote this. You know, we can send a link to people by email. We can look at the page details because we're the admin, which is why we have the edit button here. Right. And come back to home again. Um, but we get this nice, attractive portal that, of course, it is. SharePoint, right? It's SharePoint Online. So we can go ahead and edit that if we want. But I want to show you besides here, we have training events calendar. Um, we also, I'm just going to click at the top level uh, where we can see here, you can click, you know, for asking questions, etc. These are areas they tell you to go ahead right in line, you know, click and have a user community. So this could be, for example, for asking questions, maybe that's a Yammer group, right? That we're gonna uh, link into here. Contact the help desk. Well, if we have a help desk, we wanna customize that link. Get more training. Um, you may have something else that's out there, an existing LMS or some other piece that's there. And of course we have a 365 champions uh, piece that we can learn, people can join and learn from others. And then of course that could be a Yammer group as well, or maybe it's a Microsoft Teams, but we can go ahead and link all those up. What I find uh, the most useful though is here, this appears to me because I am the admin of this. So I'm going to select that and you're going to see it's going to go ahead and load up. This is where we control the views, right? So these are, it shows here first uh, days, six simple steps, and I can hide that playlist or show it, right? We can also come in here and add custom playlists if we want. Um, so that's available. So we'll go back here. We didn't add one. So we can, you know, of course, add custom playlists here. We can add 
additional content. We can add a whole playlist here. We can add a whole new category under getting started. And this allows us to again, customize the content we're making available. If we go over to products, you'll notice then we have views to each of these. So maybe I don't want to show Outlook, for example. I could hide this entire category simply by selecting that. And this subcategory is no longer shown in the areas underneath it. Or I could go in, I'm going to open that back up, and, and I could do it by individuals. These are all content areas Microsoft makes available. Of course, again, if you would like to customize underneath here, right? So maybe you're going to have a new playlist um, underneath Outlook with your own custom Outlook content that's, you know, per your org. Same for Word. Maybe you have Word templates that are organizational. So I could say I want to have one for Contoso. And we can go ahead and do that for any of these areas. And of course, you can see we have content that's been pre-populated. Again, you can pull out what you don't want, make available what you do. That content will be updated uh, periodically from Microsoft. So you'll always have access to the latest content we put out, and then you can elect to show or not show it. And of course, you can always add your own custom content. Finally, again, this is just SharePoint, right? So if we wanted to, if we wanted to do some work around this site, add our own uh, content and add it into the nav, you know, elements that are here, for example, we could come in here very easily to site contents. It says any changes. Yeah, I'm not making any changes. And then right from here, we could go in and add, for example, our new, our own pages, our own apps, a document repository. If we wanted to a subsite, it's all just SharePoint. It's all there. So a lot of options that are available to us. Again, it's as simple as going to up here to the SharePoint online provisioning, which we did. Um, and we accessed under the custom learning. And then once we've done that, bam, we've got this site. Again, make sure you have your uh, apps. Catalog has to have been enabled. So we had done that previous, but that's it. And so you get this beautiful, you know, again, here we go. Start with six simple steps. Welcome to Office 365. And here you go. You can see it's going to get us started. Um, and it has here, welcome. So I can go ahead, select, and it's going to show how to get started as a user here. Step one, go to office.com, enter your password need help. And then it's just going to walk through each of the steps for that user, right? So as they do each step, it'll that way it can track their usage across our pre done content. Um, and then you're done. So with that, uh, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you choose to take a look at this portal. It's a great uh, starting point. And of course, the other solutions are available as well online. So that was it. Easy peasy. Um, you know, you should get started. Take a look at the solutions that are out there. If you would like some, you know, you want to generate some thought processes, get the creative juices flowing. You can take some of those other solutions and samples and kind of break them down um, and then start to create your own content for your organization. But certainly the learning one is a great way to get started. And then, of course, you could extend it to include external solutions. Maybe you have stuff, you know, from LinkedIn Learning um, or other sources like Brainstorm and other great ones that are out there. And you want to pull those in, use some of those SharePoint web parts, create a page, drop it in, and you can extend, readily extend that solution for your users. So, again, I just want to thank you. This has been Michael Giannotti. And if you have additional questions, want to know how you can do things in Office 365, we'd love to hear from you. You can always visit us at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. Love to hear from you. You can also find me online. And until next time, take care and have a great day. Ciao.